friends, welcome back to Cooking with Gloria. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious mango cream cheese puff pastry that I know you guys are going to love. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. want to show you the ingredients. One egg, one bar of cream mango paste this is just delicious and of course the star the puff pastry and now i am ready i'm using only one egg to this i'm going to add a splash of cold water i'm going to mix it really good because we are going to really add this right on the top before it goes into the oven these mini delicious mango cream cheese mini cakes look at this okay let me put it aside let me continue i have the cream cheese here i want to open it i want i took it out of the refrigerator 20 minutes before making this amazing recipe of course all these ingredients you could find in your local superstore store look at this I am going to try that all the pieces are almost the same thickness so that they really incorporate into the mango paste. This mango paste is so delicious, but yet it's not sugary. It's the flavor of the mango is really penetrated and the combination of the mango paste and the cream cheese, oh my gosh, just perfection made at home. Look at the little pieces of the cream cheese. My mouth is water because I could already imagine how delicious this is going to come out. Okay, I have the mango paste here. I'm going to cut it in almost the same size of the cream cheese, the same thickness, so that they really incorporate into each other when they are baking in the oven. Remember to preheat your oven 350 Fahrenheit. Preheat it so the oven is nice and hot when you add your this, this amazing dessert into the oven. And here I have all the ingredients. The mango paste, granulated sugar, the cream cheese, of course the puff pastry, and this is everything you need. Look at this. Let's assemble them. Okay. I buy my puff pastry in little squares. Of course, if you buy a whole sheet, just cut it in squared. You decide how big you want your squares. And here I'm just adding a little bit of the egg wash on the side so that I could really cover and seal all the edges so that nothing comes out while it is baking in the oven. Look how easy this is. If you have little ones at home, invite them in the kitchen. They could help you assemble this amazing dessert. You could enjoy it with a delicious coffee. You could enjoy it with a nice and cold glass of milk you could finish your day enjoying one of these puff pastries look at this easy to prepare but yet the flavor of the mango paste with the combination of the cream cheese oh my god just amazing there is no need to go looking for a place where to find this amazing dessert when you could make it at home and you decide what filling you want to add into this amazing puff pastry dough. Look how easy this is. If you got to this part of the video and you like and you love these ingredients, please leave me a thumbs up share this video on social media with your friends with your relatives so cooking with gloria continues growing 
Look at this. Of course, we are going to coat the puff pastry with the egg wash right on the top. You want the egg wash on the top so that the puff pastry gets nice and golden brown and nice and shiny from the top. I have all my pieces here. I am ready to brush them with the egg wash. Look how beautiful they look. Of course, they're rustic because they are homemade. I am going to brush them with a little bit of the egg wash, making sure I cover every edge on the top of the puff pastry. Easy to prepare with the ingredients that we all have in the kitchen. Look how amazing they look. Of course, when they come out of the oven, they're going to be golden brown, nice and puffy. They're going to look just like mini envelopes. After you do the egg wash, you're going to add some granulated sugar right on the top of every single one. Remember, they're going to go in the oven 375 Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Every oven is different. But when you see them nice and puffy and golden brown, they are ready to be pulled out of the oven and they are ready for you to enjoy. Look at this. I am ready to put them in the oven. But before I do that, I want to slice a little bit on the top so that air could come out and they get nice and fluffy. I am really concentrated looking and imagining how they're going to come out of the oven. Really crispy and nice and thick and fluffy. After the 20 minutes, look at this. Look how beautiful they came out. The aroma of the puff pastry with the mango paste, amazing. They're really golden brown from the top and from the bottom. And listen how crispy how crispy they are. I can't wait to enjoy. I am ready for the presentation. Look at this. I'm going to put them in this plate. I'm going to show you how beautiful they look. And of course, they are going to taste amazing. Can't wait to enjoy. I'll see you in just a little bit. I hope you make them and you enjoy what cooking with Gloria enjoys with her family. My friends, I am completely done with this amazing mango cream cheese puff pastry. This is the part I love and enjoy. Nice and crispy, really fluffy. Family, excuse me. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So delicious. Amazing. If you liked and loved this amazing recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification button. And if you did, Leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you soon. Bye-bye.